on over to you. Lady, do you have an app, perhaps, that you cannot live without? What would be the I, one app you'd have to have? I really like Waze. I mean, I like Waze app because well, A, it tell tells me, you where to go. Tell me what that is, first of okay, all. Okay, so it's a... Um, well, um, driving directions you, oh, and stuff. Driving, so GPS. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but it tells you where some police might be hanging out to it say hello. <laughs> um, and then it also tells you about construction right, and just if down, what you, is this? Yeah, it's like <laughs> ways. Um, but yeah, I mean, I like that. I think it's fun. And then you get to see all the other drivers that are along with you. Not that, you know. I feel like there's an app <laughs> out there, though, for everything nowadays, there is. right? There anything is. and everything you want to see. I Lots personally have too many apps. Too That's many my apps problem. For I have Amy. to, like, flip through, and it takes What about me, like, food apps? Do you, oh, yeah, there's a lot. Well, there's apps. a lot. Of, like, I have food photography apps. Oh, because, yeah. you know, you have to have certain lighting for the food to look good. It can That's so true. taste amazing, but if there's bad lighting, it doesn't look as oh, great. Oh, that, that, there's something to say, whether it's food or whether it's a person, whatever it is, if there's bad lighting, yeah. makes you all shadowy and dark. It just doesn't look good. Yes. But I will take a Bloody Mary. Okay. No matter what. I'm excited. If the lighting is bad or I not. had Bloody Mary's lot yesterday. I mean, brunch is my favorite on the weekends because you get to relax. You don't have to, like, get up so early. That's right. You can, um, you got to dress it up, too. I mean, yes. that's, I'm going to be talking about do's and don'ts. And I that's will, one of my I'm do's. telling you what. I told Amy earlier, when it comes to Bloody Mary's, because I, I love the taste of a Bloody Mary every now and then. Yes. But they are not all created equal because no. you go some places and I'm like, this is it? Yeah. You gotta doctor it up a little yeah. bit. Yeah. I mean, and yeah, like Bloody Mary's, as we said, should be a meal. Should be a meal. Yeah. Like, this is something that you've kind of, maybe you're recovering from the night before, <laughs> and a little bit of um, extra alcohol kind of evens you out in yeah. the morning. Um, but again, like, this is something to tie you over and again. Absolutely. It be a meal. And what I want to see it. Yeah, what's your, what's your is take? a Bloody Mary bar. So we have all Ooh. these different toppings that you can add to That's it. Fun. So let's kind of get started. I okay. want to make you a Bloody Mary. So. Um, what I first do is take some lime wedge and then I just kind of like almost like a margarita where you're yes. adding the salt to the rim. I feel like, and I know some people are no salt, but I, yeah. do, I do love salt on the rim. This is more spicy than it is yes. salt because yes. I'm definitely not a big salt person either. Okay. Um, but this makes it look really pretty kick. on the rim and this has a nice kick. It has some cumin for some smokiness. Yeah. Um, okay. So let's do, let's. Digging. Now, have you ever talked to or met to someone who's like, I don't need all that foo-foo stuff. I just want it basic. No, I've and never fine. met anybody, nor do I want to <laughs> hang out with them at brunch if they're going to be wonder, like I wonder, because some people might think, nah, that's yes. too much, but I love it. I know. Here we have some vodka. Now, I do recommend doing a higher-end vodka. This is not the time for uh, okay. your low-end vodka. <laughs> um, you don't want to give everyone headaches um, for Bloody Marys. Okay, so this I is... I was going to ask, what about this? Yes, yeah, so you can see all the spices in here so this is all just condensed vegetable juice do you make this yourself? yes I made this you myself do. and then I have cr uh, fresh cracked pepper in here a little bit of horseradish already okay. um, some Worcestershire a lot of people don't know how to say that that is a tough word to say um, okay so you want to leave a little bit at the top because you're gonna be ah, on and stuff right. and you don't want to overfill all right so then we have our standard celery I'm gonna add some more spiciness and put some pepperoncinis in there okay I've got um, a scallion here some more horseradish that we can just add like right on top Ooh, there. Oh, I like and that And then, idea. oh my gosh, this bacon. Of now, course, bacon, the bacon. Bacon, thick cut bacon, smoked bacon works yeah. well. Um, but you have to keep it kind of crunchy because you're submerging it into a juice, right. which is going to make it soggy. So you have to have it crunchy on the okay. get-go. Now this is fun. Let's add some shrimp. Oh, I love it. Okay. And then these are mac smoked gouda macaroni and cheese bites. So I'm going to add what? that. Yes. The, smoked I've gouda never macaroni, seen that macaroni and cheese topping. bites. And then we'll add a little bit more of a lime zest. And oh my gosh, oh. that's our Bloody Mary. <laughs> now that's a meal. That I've seen fantastic. it with like Cornish hens on top and slider bun, like sliders. I've seen obviously olives. Yes, like olives. olives. I, I did enough salt in there with the bacon. I didn't want to that's add more true. olives to because you can really make, you know, the Bloody Marys can be salty. So yeah. on the front end, you know, with the juice and everything, you don't want to make it too salty because you're adding all different kinds of salt elements. Okay, that's good to know. That looks fantastic. But look, you can just kind of add your own, you know, you can come up there, add your own stuff, and people are excited. Now, do's yeah. and don'ts Okay, brunch. that's what I was wanting to get to. 
you. Yeah. So there are do's and don'ts. Okay, so do have fun, be relaxed, but you don't want to come in your sweatpants. This is not the time to come. What? Rolling out of bed. <laughs> my PJs. Looking like you rolled out of bed. This is time to dress up a little bit. It's yeah. a fancier party because we have mimosas and there's alcohol. Okay. Now, speaking of alcohol, do not overindulge in the alcohol. Nobody wants a sloppy mess uh, <laughs> at 10 o'clock in the morning. And you have a long day ahead of you. So, true. true. Yes. Okay. And then also, don't ask for coffee if it's not presented. Okay. You know those this people. This is a thing. This is a thing. It's because sometimes I when people are doing this. brunch, they're like, okay, let's do Bloody Mary bar, let's do mimosa, and they don't typically have coffee. And then you have that one person like, do you have any coffee? And then they and have then to you go make, make it. Coffee. Yeah, you got to make a whole. So pot. is coffee? Is that a general rule? It's like typically shut off at a certain time. I mean, because I, I know they people have who coffee. coffee yes, throughout the day. but don't be that person that asks for coffee when you clearly do not see it around. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, Miss Amy. <laughs> I mean, I'm just trying to help you out so that everyone is on their best behaviors during brunch. Okay, where can we find you? You do all kinds of fun classes. Yeah, we have a cooking class coming up about brunch. It's laborless brunch so that we can make it easy on you so you're not coming up in a sweaty mess. Yes. When your guests arrive, we'll show you how to cook ahead of time. You bet. Of course, more with Amy coming up here in just a little bit. Tracy, yeah, if you go to brunch, keep those in mind. No sweatpants. Mm -hmm. No sweatpants, and do not Tracy. Order coffee. We just say no sweatpants. No sweatpants. <laughs> Not just the Bloody Mary bar. It's no sweatpants. Yeah, no sweatpants. Just throw the sweatpants out and Exactly. <laughs>